Hi, Sean Walker, Walk Tong D here, juicing with my Green Star Juicer. Actually, I juiced last night and it didn't turn out too well. I don't know if I put too many green leafy vegetables in there and it got a funky taste, or maybe I too, put too many cucumbers in there and I didn't peel them, or maybe too many lemons, or I don't know exactly what went wrong with it. You know, uh, last time I did it, it turned out really good. This time, not so well. And uh, that's why I thought I'd make a video. And uh, th this is the reason why a lot of people don't juice for very long. They start it and they just can't stand the taste of it. And this tasted kind of funky, you know. After I bottle it and I, I put it in the refrigerator and I had to drink it cold. And it just, I could drink it and everything, but it had a little funky taste. So uh, what I did was I juiced about three pounds of carrots. I put more carrots in there. And then uh, the carrots may taste a little bit better. Uh, actually, it was pretty good. And got rid of that uh, little funky green uh, leafy vegetable taste. And put as many green leafy vegetables in it as you can and still drink it so it tastes good. But there are a few tricks that you can do. One is putting uh, lemons in it, or limes. And the other one is putting, uh, well, maybe you wouldn't want to use this kind of salt. This is what I had. I, you could use sea salt. Sea salt will give you some minerals, I guess. And so sea salt may be a good alternative. Just give it a little extra kick. And I did that, and it just didn't have what I wanted. So now this may be sacrilegious to a lot of people, and it's not sugar, but it's honey. Now you might want to warm the honey up. This honey is really warm because it's outside, and this is raw honey. Uh, raw honey is good way time you can get it, right? And so what I did was I mixed some raw honey in there, and you don't want to put too much in it. You mix it in until it just gives it a little sweet taste. So it, you might not want to use it every time. I don't. But if it gets a little funky, the honey and the salt and maybe lemons, maybe put too much lemons in it. And that's the thing that I'm trying to tell you here is that you might not be a good cook every time. I mean, how many times have you cooked a meal and it didn't turn out right? Same thing is true with juicing. You make make a bad batch of juice simple as that now the way you just get rid of that bad taste is you put some stuff in there that you think is going to make it taste better carrots is always a good thing to put in there unless you don't like the taste of carrots but put more of the stuff you like in there and you may want to peel your vegetables i probably should have peeled my cucumbers i think that was part of it. i've used a lot of cucumbers this time and i did not peel them because i believe a lot of the nutrients are in the uh, peel uh, maybe i was wrong in that and so, anyways, this is a short video, and I'm going to bottle it up here. And the thing is, with the Screen Star Juicer, it's a slow juicer. 80 RPMs, I think. And uh, that means it doesn't whip up the juice to get all the oxygen in there, and it doesn't last a long time. The nutrients die off if you don't drink it immediately. Even if you drink it immediately, it's going to have less nutrients than with the Green Star Juicer. Or an Omega Juicer. You want a slow speed juicer. And so uh, this juicer says you can keep it three days in the fridge. And I'm pushing it here. I'm going to have, uh, these are 750 milliliters. This is about three liters, I guess. And uh, th three liters, a liter a day. Don't forget to have fun. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button.